I know really well. Some of you I haven't met before. So for those of you who don't know me, um, I'm Melanie Goodman. Um, I'm originally a solicitor by original profession, um, but I've been doing business development and social media. I work for eight years in a law firm doing that and I um, have been running Trevor's ad for my, um, my own company for the last um, three years and we specialize in LinkedIn marketing and training um, but without using any um, paid ads. So thanks all for joining the accelerator this week. Um, I hope that you're going to get loads and loads of value out of it. Um, someone has got I might say if you've got loads of background noise, maybe, maybe just mute yourself while I don't know what's been. Okay. Uh, right, so I, I talk quite fast, so I know that English isn't everyone's first language. So if I'm going too fast or you don't understand something, feel free to tell me to slow down or to go over something again. Um, I'll try not to go too fast, but I want to pack as much into today as possible because the LinkedIn profile optimization day, which is today, um, there is a lot of content um, to get through. And I really want you to all come away um, with a sort of search engine optimized profile um, that will really um, get you seen and um, make you visible on LinkedIn as well as being ranked higher by search engines. Um, so we're going to get going. Um, so the way that the accelerator works is this is more of a workshop than it's not me just speaking in webinar style. So please feel free to stop me if you want to ask me a question about your own profile or about something that I'm saying, um, because I'm happy to answer everyone's questions individually. Um, we're going to do that as we go along rather than have a Q&A at the end when everyone's moved on. So I'm going to get going. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen so you can see my LinkedIn profile and I'm going to take you through each part of your LinkedIn profile. Um, don't worry so much about taking notes. Some people like to edit their profile as we go along. Um, but I'll upload into the portal, A, this recording um, afterwards tonight, and also I'll upload a LinkedIn profile optimization manual. So everything that I'm saying will actually be most of it in the manual, but you can always send me um, questions afterwards. So I'm going to get going and I'm going to just take off my video while I share my screen, um, because otherwise it seems to slow things down quite a lot. Um, so I'm going to share my screen now. So. so can you all see my LinkedIn profile now? Yeah. Yeah. Great, okay, so what I'm going to do, so I'm just gonna stop my video um, while we go through this, but just stop me if you want me to go through anything um, slower. So I'm, to look at your profile, you go to the me at the top of the page and then scroll down to view profile. And you should all, if you're, follow, if you're doing it on your own at the same time, um, you should now see what other people see. So we're going to start with your name and your headline. Um, now, this is something that most people don't give any thought to when they set up their LinkedIn profile. They normally, sometimes people put in emojis, etc. But I really wouldn't recommend doing that because... Um, if you don't have an iPhone and you've got um, an Android, for example, um, it will just show up as squares and it doesn't show up properly. Um, the reason that some people um, put in icons here is to stop bots. So, for example, if it's a robot that's connecting with you, it won't recognize the, um, the like happy face or the coffee cup or whatever. Um, so 
um, people try and stop that so they can actually see who's spamming them. Um, but I would suggest here where it says Melanie Goodman on yours, you put in your real name as it actually is and nothing else. Um, under here is your headline. And this is actually the most important part of your LinkedIn profile. This is, um, this is search engine optimized. So this is, this is where you need to put in your keywords that you want to be found for. So there's different ways in which you can do this. Um, so you need to really think about what people would be searching for when they're looking for your services. So if you are selling software, you would obviously want to use um, word, you would obviously want to use the word software. You might want to use um, data. Um, you might want to use AI. Um, for example, I know um, Heather um, is a dietitian, um, so she would obviously want to use um, words like um, health and diet. Um, you want to put in um, any accolades that you um, that you've achieved um, because it's going to be the first thing that people look at. So this is your showcase. Um, so you can just see, um, for example, I, I, I put in um, the awards that I've won. Um, you want to put in, obviously, your role, but you actually want to tell people, um, you, you want to tell people how you can help them. So this is where I always suggest a particular formula, um, which basically works with everyone. Um, and the way to do this is... You use this formula of saying, helping or assisting and who you help or assist to achieve X, Y, and Z and the result that they will get. So for example, um, you might want to say, helping corporates achieve greater visibility and attract inbound leads through effective cloud-based video marketing solutions, if you are a video marketing company. So you want to tell people who you help and the result they'll get by working with you. So people can immediately see the advantage of connecting with you and what they, what they will gain from the connection. So you can then um, add on extra words. Um, and, and so, for example, if you have a particular service um, that you are uh, wanting to promote at the moment, I mean, remember your headline, it's not cast in stone, so you can change it over time. And I really would suggest that you do to update it. Um, you often find that um, people have it, their headline is actually nothing to do with their current role. Um, so for example, you can see I've put in LinkedIn accelerator training um, because obviously I was uh, marketing it for this week. Um, but also just, you, you want to um, make yourself as expansive as possible. So um, for example, I've, I've shown that um, I write for the entrepreneur. Um, I put in my qualification, my original qualification. Um, but most importantly, I've put in the keywords that people would search for. So LinkedIn strategy, who I help. And this is the result that they'll get. It will increase their visibility and generate leads for them. So there is this formula. So I'm just going to say it once more, helping or assisting who you help or assist by X, Y, and Z to achieve X, Y, and Z. Keep it very clean and clear and precise. And I would always advise to stay clear of sort of buzzwords like influencer or even expert or some, just because some words are really overused. So I just try and find sort of new ways of saying things. Now, one thing that you can do and um, lots of people do it, and we've, we often do it for clients, is put in your URL in here. So, you know, so for example, I might have actually put in, um, instead of LinkedIn Accelerator Training, 
I might have put in, you know, HTTPS, www.trevazansocial.com. Um, um, now that's not actually hyperlinked. So it won't, people won't be able to click on it, but they would be able to copy and paste it in a second. Um, so rather than otherwise, they'd have to go to your company and then to the company page and then to the website. So that's um, and another thing you can do is also put your telephone number in there. So if you are open to having um, people contact you or you want to use an office number, you can put that in here as well. The aim of this is that we are making it as easy as possible for people to reach you because you want them to reach you rather than going to the next page um, of someone who does the same thing and reaching out to them instead. Um, now you've got um, 220 characters you're allowed in this section here. Um, which goes quite quickly. Um, you'll find that uh, you can fill it up quite quickly, but um, just make the most of it. Use the keywords that people are going to search for. And you'll see, I don't know if any of you have ever noticed, there's uh, this little um, speaker icon. Now, I'm not sure if I play it because I'm only sharing my screen. I don't think you'll hear it. So I'll just, I'll just do a test. Hi, I'm Melanie Goodman. I specialize in LinkedIn marketing and training. Thanks for visiting my profile here. Now, I'm not sure um, if you could actually hear that, but what it is, is it's a um, 15 second snippet, which, which LinkedIn introduced um, about three months ago. And you're supposed to use it so that P you pronounce your name so that everyone knows how to pronounce your name. They can click on it and they know how to pronounce your name. However, um, you can use it in a much more savvy way. And you have to use your mobile phone. Um, you can only add this on your using the mobile app, um, which I would really suggest that you download. It's really, really super useful, the mobile app. Um, so what I would suggest that you do is use that to not only say what your name is, but say what you do. So in mine, for those of you who couldn't hear it, um, it says, I'm Melanie Goodman, Goodman, I'm a LinkedIn trainer, I'm a marketing professional, you know, feel, um, you know, thanks for visiting my profile. So you can put a lot more into it than just your name. So that's just a nice little ad by LinkedIn. Now I'm going to talk about the background um, image here and your profile photo, um, both are search engine optimized and this is something that most people don't realize so they'll sort of upload any any photo or any image to linkedin but actually a much cleverer way of doing this is to name your file so when you upload your image from your computer it will probably be called something like you might have called it um, sorry, Jen, I'm just going to use an example. You might have just called it um, Jen profile photo. Um, what you could actually do is you can put keywords into that. So rename your photo file. So for example, here, if I click on the pencil icon, this will allow me to upload an image. If I was uploading a new one, I would go to change photo and call your file so for example if it, if it was jen's um she might call it um jen mills um personal branding dot jpeg me i'd be melanie goodman um linkedin trainer dot jpeg or dot png but use the keywords that you want to be found for in your photo while we're looking at the photo I'm just going to click on here on the bottom right. So anybody who's doing this at the same time, tell me if I'm going too fast. So um, why, why, why do you have to put .jpg? Well, no, just, just the file name. Well, you don't, sorry, you don't actually write .jpg, but when you save it, you're probably saving the image as a JPEG or a PNG uh, on your computer. Right. So it's, sorry, it's just the, the first part of that that you rename. So the actual name of the file, and that's just the file type, sorry, .jpeg or .png is just the file type that your computer will give it. You can oh, thank you. either on LinkedIn. Thanks. That's okay. Um, so if we click on visibility, 
Now you'll see here, um, you have a choice and you want to check this in your settings because a lot of people don't even realize that they have set their profile photo to private or only that their connections can see. And, and really, someone actually, just completely coincidentally, actually messaged me this morning. They sent me an email um, saying about whether, asking whether you should um, have your um, profile photo set to private or public. Now, I would always advise to set it to public. The truth is no one really wants to connect with a silhouette with a greyed out image. Um, people want to see you. Your photo will just say it will give them a little bit of insight into you, even if it's small. And it's, I, I haven't yet met anybody who um, who wants to connect with with an empty with an empty image. So I would always suggest that you set it to public unless you have a particular reason not to. So I would just check that in your settings. And then you can obviously adjust the variant, maybe a various adjustments that you wish to. And exactly the same goes for your header here, your header image. Um, rename it. Um, um, rename it with your keywords. Now, to actually design this background image, I have a template which I'm going to upload to the portal afterwards, which you can use um, for so that you can check your sizing, etc. Um, and if you wanted to design one yourself, um, there's a website I'd recommend called Canva, C-A-N-V-A. -A. Um, I can put the link in the portal afterwards. Um, and it's really great for designing. Um, you don't need to be a graphic designer to use it, um, but you can then just design your own um, background images. Now, the next part of your profile that I'm going to talk about, um, which is equally important and one of the most important parts of your profile, and this is your um, URL. So I'm going to edit your URL. And often people don't even realize that you can do this. But the reason this is so important is that this is, again, where search engines like Google and Yahoo, et cetera, um, will rank you, um, and as well as LinkedIn. So if, you've, if you have edited this and optimized it, you will rank ahead um, on LinkedIn of listings um, further ahead than your competitors. So you press the little pencil icon here and it gives you the option to edit it. You mustn't leave any spaces, otherwise it won't allow it. And this is where, again, you put in those keywords of, of what you would like to be found for. What are key, what's key to your industry, to your services, to your business?